Good morning everyone, myself Mohamad Hisham. I am from C5B 6th C Bank. Today I am going to narrate a story of NCERT syllabus of English subject Honeysuckle Chapter 1. Who, who did Patrick's homework? So Patrick never did his homework. He felt that the homework is too boring. Instead of doing his homework, he played hockey, basketball and Nintendo. Nintendo is a video game. His teachers told him, Patrick, do your homework or else you will not learn anything. And it's true. Sometimes he also felt ignoramus. Ignoramus means an ignorant person who lacks education. What could he do? Patrick hated homework. Then one day he saw his cat playing with a doll. Playing with a doll and he ran and grabbed the doll. But to his surprise, it wasn't a doll. It was a size of tiniest man. Here the tiniest is the superlative degree. It is also known as elf. Elves are generally known Elves are tiny people which are generally magical and imaginary characters. He had little wool shirt with old fashioned breeches. Breeches means short pants or trousers. And a high tall hat much like witches. Here the word witches and breeches are like, weren't they same? They are same. They are rhyming words. They are rhyming words. Then the elf elf. Help me. Help me. Don't give me back to the cat. Then, then Patrick picked the elf. Save me. Don't give back to the cat. He told. And then I'll grant you a wish. I promise that. How lucky the Patrick was. Patrick told, only if you do my homework until the end of the semester, that's 35 days, I will save you. And you should do good job enough. And you should do good job enough. Here the Patrick saved from the cat. And you should do good job enough and I could even get A's. A's. The little man's face wrinkled like this cloth thrown in the hamper. This cloth means a cloth used for washing dishes. Hamper means bucket closed with a lid. He grimaced. The little man grimaced, cold, and pushed his lips. Oh, am I cursed? But I'll do it, the elf told. Here the word grimaced, scold and proved his lips means the, the elf is showing his face reactions, expressions, showing disgust and anger and disapproval. And true to his words, the elf began to do Patrick's homework. Patrick's homework. Except there was one glitch. Glitch means a fault or a problem. The elf known, don't know anything. He called, help me, help me, he'd say. What could Patrick do? He had to help him, him in whatever way. When it came to match, Patrick was out of luck. What are times and tables? The elf shrieked. Shrieked means have gave a short, high-pitched cry. Like... <laughs> we elves never need dirt. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and fractions. Here, sit down beside me. You simply must guide me. We elves know nothing about human history. We, to them, it's a mystery. And it's a mystery. So the little elf already a shouter. He got louder, louder and louder. Go to the library. I need books. More and more books. And you should
should help them me to read. Here the picture of movie. And you should help them me to read. As matter of fact, every day in every way, the little elf was a nag. Nag means one who troubles someone. Patrick was working harder than ever and was it a drag? So he stayed up nights. He never felt so weary. He gone to school with puffed and blurry eyes. Puffed and blurry eyes means if we not sleep at night, our eyes will become reddish in color, small in size, blur. Finally, the last day of school arrived and, and the elf was free to go. As for homework, there was no more. The elf quietly and slyly slipped out the back door. Slyly means secretively. Why the elf quietly and slyly slipped out the back door by not telling Patrick? Because if Patrick caught him again to do second semester homework, he thought like that. And he quietly and slyly slipped out the back door. He got and he also got ace. He, his classmates were amazed. His teachers smiled and were full of praise. And his parents, they wondered what happened to Patrick. He was the model kid now. He was the model kid now. He did his chores. He was cheerful. He never rude. Like he had developed a whole new attitude. Here the word chores means every daily, daily work. Attitude means a feeling of something. Next, he got A's. He passed in school. Next, he thought that it, the work homework was not done by me. It was by Elf done. But soon he realized that it was not done by Elf. It was done by himself. Carol Moon. Thank you. Now I will tell you about the importance of homework. There is a link between homework and academic achievement. The time you spend for doing your homework will develop you more than academic skills alone. Homework sessions encourage you to take your time wisely and work independently and engage better in subject matter and it also improves memory and critical thinking thank you